Hello fellow collectors, and welcome to Gallic Gun Toys. Uh, today we are just doing an unboxing of these Dragon Ball Super Broly figures. Uh, now these two showed up yesterday in the mail, and these two showed up today. So I'm really happy about that, because it means I get to do them all together in one big video. Uh, I actually pre-ordered these through Figuring Out Japan uh, on eBay, so if you're interested in picking these guys up, uh, check them out on eBay. They're also on Facebook and YouTube under Figuring Out Japan, and I do actually pre-order a lot of my Vampistro Dragon Ball figures through them. Okay, um, so let's just jump into it, guys. So I think we'll start off in order of series. So we'll start with the Gogeta Blue. Okay, so this is the Dragon Ball Super Broly Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta, and it is a Crane King figure by Bampestro. A little gold Toei sticker there to show that it's from Japan. Uh, so this this one uh, actually has three different versions. This is the more common one, the Super Saiyan Blue, and that was a crane figure. And then there is uh, these two. Now I believe one of them might only be certain arcades, and I think the other one might have only been... I know one of them was uh, definitely a J-World exclusive. Uh, for those of you that don't know, J-World is a, like, amusement park, not, not really an amusement park, it's more of, like, a theme, anime-themed, uh, little place where you can take photos, you can have lunch. <clears throat> they got some really cool Dragon Ball stuff, and, uh, One Piece, and some other animes I don't really, uh, follow, like, uh, Bleach, Bleach, I believe, but they've got a really good Dragon Ball section, they've got, like, a Saiyan Space Pod, uh, and just some really cool stuff. Uh, I've been there twice, uh, both visits to Japan, and they are located inside Sunshine City. Uh, that is in Tokyo. <coughs> And Sunshine City is about, I think it's about the stop for the part of town you want for that is probably about six minutes, six to fifteen minutes train ride from Akihabara. Uh, so if you're ever in Japan and you're a big Dragon Ball fan, I highly, highly recommend stopping by there. Uh, it's really good just to get some really great photos. Uh, I'm pretty sure my profile picture for YouTube is actually uh, me on the Nimbus Cloud. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, and just like I always do, well I seem to do more often than not, just a little bit of stand. So always make sure you empty everything out of your bag, or you end up looking like a dick like me. Okay, so these ones, it's usually easier to plug it into the foot first. Yeah, because these ones can be a bit of a pain in the ass. So usually do the big one first, then do the little one. Okay, that looks great. And wow, I'm really happy with that. That is just beautiful. Real not, not really any imperfections uh, like I got on my Ichiban Kuji uh, Gogeta Blue. Okay, uh, I will be doing a separate review for all these guys. And I will be doing comparisons uh, in those reviews with some other stuff. So keep an eye on the channel for that if you're interested. Okay. Okay. Oh, Broly. Alright. Uh, keep this back. 
because I keep all my Bampesto boxes. I uh, actually flatten them all. Uh, take, get rid of the cardboard insert and just flatten this. And that seems to be the best way uh, because they just, when you get to the point where you have as many as I do, it just gets ridiculous. You have probably a room worth of boxes uh, because some of the boxes, as you can see, are quite sizable. So if you have a hundred Bear Pestro figures and each box is around that size, uh, it can take up a lot of space really quickly. Uh, I wasn't ever going to flatten any of my boxes. I used to keep all the inserts. Uh, and then I just... On my last trip to Japan, we brought back so much Bampestro uh, Dragon Ball figures and stuff. It just... It just became um, very, very evident that I wasn't going to be able to keep the boxes uh, together. Not with the... Uh, limited amount of space I do have for everything. So they've done something really different with the base here for this Dragon Ball Super Broly, Broly uh, Unleashed Broly figure. So they've got like uh, Gogeta Blue, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Broly like full power uh, on the base. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, it, it looks fantastic. Um, I have to say, they really, really went uh, above and beyond with that. That's really great. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, so... Because... The uh, joint, the bit that this clips onto is so far in, I think this is going to be quite a pain in the ass. Because this is going to be... You're going to have to put that on. Then you're going to have to put his uh, ear of bar that he keeps with him around his waist. Uh, okay, it's not as difficult as I anticipated it would be. That's pretty good. Oh wow, that is, that is cool. Uh, I'm really, really happy with that. Really keen to throw that on the review stand later and review that. Wow, that that is that is cool. Uh, got a slight little imperfection there, like a bit of paint rub or something, but nothing to cry about. Overall, he looks fantastic. Okay. Now Vegeta is my favorite, and. I was really looking forward to these, Broly, uh, definitely, but the Vegeta, since I saw it, that was the one straight away, I was like, ooh, that's going to look really good with the Broly. Uh, so, they're all probably going to go in the same detail together, along with the 20th Film Limited Sun Goku with the Power Pole. Uh, if you follow the channel, I did a a uh, unboxing and review of that the other day. I was actually, because uh, that was from figuring out Japan as well, I wasn't sure if they all got sent together or separately, uh, but they got sent in three different lots as they got released. So these guys got released uh, around the same time, so they got shipped together. And then these guys got shipped around the same time, so they got shipped together. Um, and it's funny how the Australian post system works and Japan post works because sometimes you can get something really really quick sometimes you can wait weeks for it but generally post from Japan is pretty good uh, I find the problem most of the time uh, in Australia is with Australia post uh, it's not usually the sender or the individual overseas, it's usually Australia Post. Uh, rare occasion where it's not actually Australia Post, but 
Uh, that's why I go with sellers that I trust and that are reliable, like figuring out Japan. Just because sometimes you can find something cheaper, doesn't mean it's always going to be better. Because, you know, you might pay a cheaper price and that person might take a lot less care in how they pack it or how they ship it, method in which they ship it. So all of that is something to weigh up when you're buying this sort of stuff and pre-ordering it. If you have a trusted seller, stick with them. If they haven't let you down, stick with them because sometimes, especially in the collecting game, it's just, you need to be, uh, you need to be smart on who you're giving your money to. And sometimes, you know, uh, it's it always, not sometimes, it's always best to go with uh, someone you trust and someone you know. So always go with those positive experiences you've had. Uh, and always check out feedback. Feedback's very important, uh, especially on eBay. Uh, that's one thing I always do, is I'll never buy off a seller I don't know if they've got less than like 90, no, near, nearly 100% feedback. Uh, and always check uh, negative feedback, you know, because that's always a good indication. If you start getting three or four or five different people sort of saying the same thing, like I didn't receive my item and stuff like that, something to, something to go by and maybe don't buy from that person and find yourself a reputable seller that is going to do the right by you. Okay, so overall guys, I'm pretty stoked with these guys. Uh, I'm really stoked to get them on the review stand and review them for you, but I'm equally as excited to get them in my D12 and figure out how I'm going to arrange them with the 20th Film Limited Son Goku. Now, uh, the Vegeta, I think I was right to be most anticipating this because this just looks great. Uh, I was having a talk with one of my friends last night about uh, what my favourite uh, Dragon Ball figure is in my collection. And I have so many if you've seen the Dragon Ball collection video. Uh, not as many as a lot of people, but I do have a sizable collection. Uh, and I, I, after thinking about it, I thought maybe the Ichiban Kuji uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta uh, that you might have seen on this channel a few times for comparisons. But wow, this is uh, this is this is really nice. They really nailed, they just nailed the look. So I kind of I was so excited to get into uh, Vegeta, I skipped over Goku completely. But let's have a quick look. He looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. But uh, Goku for me, uh, especially Super Saiyan Blue Goku is a companion piece for Vegeta, especially if they're fighting together. Uh, but, oh wow, the, these guys, these guys look really, really good. I really like the glossiness they went with Broly on this armor. But yeah, um, so stay tuned to the channel guys. Uh, lots more uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly related uh, videos and reviews uh, on the horizon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for joining me as always, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.